Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, yeah, for Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, let's see what's going on with you in terms of your love life and relationships. It would seem as if this is somehow of an emotional month for many of you. It could be due to the planetary alignments or it could just be that, you know, a lot of things are going on in your mind right now and your heart and emotions is being triggered all at the same time. Now, as we see here, we do have the Six of Cups and the crossing over of the Three of Stars altogether. This clearly tells us that um, this could be a scenario we're in maybe... Um, maybe you're thinking about the past and it could be some form of re-triggering um, a past event in your life that is either repeating or maybe you're being reminded of, of the pain of, of the breaking up or, you know, breaking down of something from the past. Um, the Three of Swords is a very sad and disappointment kind of card. It can also tell us that within the month of May, there could be improvement in a relationship that does not seem to be improving at all. So this can really manifest in different various settings and different various ways. And only you can tell how is this exactly manifesting. So this could be a situation wherein if you have been um, single for such a long time and you're not really thinking about a relationship at all, this might be a significator of, of that setup in your love life wherein um, you feel hopeless in love and you don't really uh, think about love anymore. But um, as the month of May occurs, it would seem as if there could be improvement in terms of your love life. Maybe a friend, um, you know, um, is opening up to you, um, giving you a spark of love and interest in terms of relationship. Again, you know, someone falling in love with you, even though you may or may not like the person, um, this is somehow still telling us that, um, there is improvement in terms of love, whether you like someone or someone likes you, that kind of thing. This can also tell us that maybe, you know, the idea of love and relationship is coming of importance to you within the month of May. It is somehow speaking to you one way or another. So, um, yeah, we might find out something. Some form of messages can be, you know, dig up. You know, you might find some form of communication coming into, into your life. And this communication is leading into your love life, you know. You are finding out information, finding out and learning more about what you truly feel. Or maybe you are going to, you know, based on the situation that you have right now, you are going to find out something about yourself when it comes to your love life, you know, that kind of situation. There is a lot of times, though, that, you know, you might feel introspective, like maybe there is an opportunity for love to come into your life, but you're not really very much open to them because we do have the Eight of Cups over here in the future position of this reading so it might be that you are very skeptical those kinds of things we also have here the snake um with my cardamancy card and also it shows us over here beside the woman card so this makes me gives me the idea that maybe a lot of you know libra rising people could be women in particular um that are feeling troubled in terms of their love life it's not really it's not really because no one is there with you it could be that someone is there with you but for some reason um 
there is some form of you know emotional occurrence deep inside of you which can be psychological or you know in a very literal sense that is making you feel troubled and making you want to reflect on something and it may be something to do with the past or you know just um, taking a closer look and serious look about what you truly want with your life. However, I kind of feel that you are at the verge of making some form of decision making that is very important to you. Because we do have the lover's card over here. So it does tell us that you're thinking about love. You know, you might not be happy completely right now, but there is an opportunity for you to make a decision when it comes to love matters. It could also be that, you know, within the month of May, some form of message or some form of information is going to come that is somehow fated that can alter the course of your own relationship status in life, whether you're single or in a relationship, in a complicated relationship or marriage all at the same time. We also have this four of cups along with this eight of hearts. So, you know, you're really thinking something deep here. And it could also be that, you know, Something that is not satisfied in your life right now. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be with a particular person in your life. Or it could be just your emotional satisfaction in life. All of these things are going to be... You need to address them. You need to focus on them. And maybe there are some form of shedding light of answers that could come into the surface it might seem quite challenging but it's actually not it's just giving you i kind of feel that this is you know making you think of things that maybe either you have never thought before or you're just trying to escape reality by not thinking about them but this time around some form of situation might happen that forces you to think about certain things so that you will know how to proceed with your life in the near future. We do sense here that, you know, you deep inside of you, no matter how complicated you might seem to other people, what you truly want and what you truly desire is to be happy, to be, you know, to have a joyful life, the joyful love, to be to love and be loved all at the same time. As your outcome card, you do have the Queen of Cups over here with the three of clover so it tells us here that you know eventually though you are going to follow what is truly in your heart and there could be some form of messages right there and improvement in communication that is you know being reciprocated all at the same time so you are going to find out information and some form of back and forth information uh, will be coming across here at, at the first glance though it's as if you know you're giving up into something you don't want to deal with it you don't want to have anything to do with a certain situation but gradually we are slowly seeing here that eventually there is some form of communication with someone that might be someone that truly is important to you that truly matters or this could be someone that can be very significant and become an important person in your life in the future. This is just, you know, making you open up to love again, opening up yourself to falling in love again, and opening up yourself, allowing yourself to, to love again, basically. So there is some form of growth and advancement that can um, really occur. So you might be thinking that I don't want to be impulsive because I kind of feel that, you know, um, there could be sudden changes that can, it's very possible to happen in your life at this time. Very impulsive, very sudden, but they are all along very positive as well. So these are the things that you might um, really experience. So communication and changes are going to be 
big for you. I'm pretty much excited to see how is this going to be unfolding for everyone. If the news is good. Well, I kind of feel that this news, whatever message that will come into you and your life in the future is actually a good news. It might be a very simple message, very small, but I kind of feel that, you know, it takes that small message, that small information to really change everything for you. It could be just a hi or someone apologizing to you or someone trying to reconnect with you, that kind of thing. It may not be uh, a big deal or a big issue for other people, but for you, that is exactly the message that you maybe you're looking for secretly or that you really need for you to really move forward with life, you know? It's like having an opportunity for something. And after such a long wait, after such a long str struggle, uh, you can see your life, your love life, having a blockage being removed, finally allowing you to move forward wherever that may lead you. So, um, yeah. All I can say is you need to be more open to life. Be more, more open to the idea that message could come in. Allow them. Allow the problems. <laughs> allow the fickleness of life to occur to you. And by doing that, you will be able to allow solutions to take place and allow chances to enter your life all at the same time. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for the month of May. I do hope that the new moon in Gemini is going to bring you a lot of good luck, a lot of opportunities, and good karma, especially in terms of your love life. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope I will be able to do another reading with you again next month. And um, yeah, thanks and goodbye.